What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade RAM. The best place to get RAM is from crucial.com and that pretty much checks your system and shows you what type of RAM you need. You could download the scanner by going to system scanner, scan my computer and click the download the scanner and then you should see something like this after a couple of seconds as you could see i have three gigabyte of ram originally this computer had two gigs of ram which was not enough just when you open up windows 7 without anything opened up it already uses about a gig of ram and so if you open up google chrome or, or internet explorer and couple tabs it actually the memory goes to 100 percent so when the memory goes to 100%, the computer kind of lags and freezes. So upgrading RAM doesn't really increase the performance, but for multitasking, it's better having more RAM. For this, all you need is a normal screwdriver. I don't know the dimension, but just a normal screwdriver should work for your computer, depending if you have different computer. So the first thing you have to do is turn off the computer, obviously and then take out the battery so there is no power going on the RAM at that time which you could just do easily by sliding to slot and it should work and the other thing I like to do is just hold the power button for a couple seconds to make sure that there is no power in the computer so the computer doesn't have any power to make sure that when I'm opening the RAM everything goes smoothly now you might be asking me how do I know where the RAM is in my computer you could know it by looking on the back of your computer and you should see a symbol for RAM which is like a small rectangle and there should be kind of an easy way to get on the RAM there should be screws around it so you should be able to open it up and now you have to just open all the screws around where the RAM is. Upgrading RAM is extremely simple. It's the easiest thing to do to a laptop or a desktop because it's usually not really hidden. The manufacturer wants you to upgrade the RAM. And I see a lot of people looking at the RAM before buying a computer. It's not really necessary because it's easily upgradable. But what you should look for in a computer is how much RAM you could add. Right now, a lot of computer could get up to 32 gig, 16 gig, but on this computer, it actually goes up to 4 gig. So that's what you should look for, and also you should look for what's the speed for the RAM. For this, the speed is 1333 megahertz DDR310600. I think it's CL9. So that's what you should look for instead of actually looking for how much RAM it has. To remove the stick, right here is the RAM, you pretty much just get the stuff out and just pull it up. You have to apply form pressure, not that much. And sometimes it's kind of hard to remove, so right here is the one stick. I'm going to put it aside, because this one is the 2 gig. I want to remove the other one, which is one gig, and replace it with this one. So right there, this one came out really easily. I'm gonna put it aside and open up the new RAM. Here's the other RAM. So I'm gonna put the RAM back. You have to apply it at a at about 10 degree angle because it does not go in when you just make it straight. So that's what I learned by doing this. May take some time. Let's make sure that it's actually recognizing it really well. And it actually goes in perfectly. And then you pretty much done. That should be good enough. Now it's the second one. It should automatically stand up. Now you just have to push it and 
knit shit going. This is what it should look like. And now you're pretty much done. Now just apply all the screws and you should be able to see more 